Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for our quad focused session. Uh, so I used to really hate stretching my quadriceps, um, but the more you do, the easier it gets. But we will need a few props to help us today to make some of the stretches a little bit more accessible. So if you know you're really tight in the quads, please grab, if you've got yoga blocks, um, you might need several or a stack of books. Again, you might need them to be quite high. So grab a good stack. Feel free to pause while you go and grab your props and come back. Um, also a strap of some kind, again, maybe a yoga belt or a normal clothes belt, or if you've got a towel or a dressing gown tie, anything where you, it'll allow you to wrap the strap around your foot. And then also you might need a cushion or a blanket, something to pad the knee so we're not putting any strain on the kneecap itself. So once you have got your props and your setup, come down to lying onto your back and grab a block or two blocks or as high as you want to go and once you're lying on your back bend your knees lift your hips slide the block underneath the sacrum so it's not underneath the lumbar spine the lower back you want it further down so it feels like it's supporting the back of the pelvis and then you can let your legs straighten out and roll out to the sides you can always wrap a strap around the middle of the thighs, just slightly tightening to keep the thighs holding in place and that just allows the legs to completely relax. Then just lift your chest, snuggle your shoulder blades in towards each other, down the back. Lift your head, tuck your chin in, close your eyes. So as well as giving you a gentle stretch in the hip flexes, which you might feel in the hip creases. We're going to take these first few moments to just tune into the breath. Start to take long, deep breaths. Taking these first few moments to let go of the day so far. Just allow yourself to arrive on your mat. And start to notice how the body feels. Sweeping your awareness around your body, noticing any sensations as they arise, not with any need to change or judge, unless you're feeling pain or discomfort, in which case do move around. Otherwise, just simply noticing the sensations as they are. And start to notice any tension, any tightness. Any gripping, squeezing, clenching. Making a conscious decision to let that go. Notice there's a natural sinking, descending quality to the exhale. So with each exhale, let the body soften and sink down into the earth. No holding, gripping, squeezing, just let it all go with the exhale. And as you inhale, notice there's a natural rising quality to the in-breath, which creates a sense of space and expansion up the front of the body. So each inhale, just noticing those gentle movements, the rise and fall of your belly. The rise and fall of your chest. Staying in tune with your breath. Start to bend the knees. Press down into your feet to lift your hips up just so you can slide your block out to the side. And then stretch your arms out to the side. Have your hands level with your shoulders, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Shuffle your hips over to the left. Hook your left leg over your right and gently lower your knees over to the right. You can use support underneath the legs if it feels too much to let the legs hang. And then completely let go of any doing, any squeezing. Relax your feet, ankles thighs, glutes. 
bringing awareness to the back of the shoulders, see if you can soften that left shoulder down into the mat. Relax your jaw, your face. Long deep breaths down into the belly. And then inhale, lift your knees up to centre, unhook your leg and go the other way, shuffle your hips to the right, hook your right leg over your left, gently lower your knees over to the left. And again, relax the legs, just let them fall into position. If it's too much to have the legs crossed, then just uncross, stack your right knee on top of your left. Long, deep breaths down into your belly. Let that right shoulder sink, feel heavy. And then inhale, lift your knees back up to centre. So unhook your right leg, but keep your right knee bent. Interlace your hands around the front of the right knee and stretch your left leg along the mat. Just gently hugging that right thigh in. Taking a few breaths here. And then keep your left hand on your right knee, stretch your right arm out to the side and gently take your right knee over to the left. So you can stay here with your left leg straight or if you want to start to add a quadriceps stretch, bend your left knee, see if you can reach back and find your left foot with your right hand and then relax the right shoulder as much as you can down onto the mat. Gently pulling the heel up towards the bum Try and tuck the tailbone, slight squeeze of the bum to bring the stretch in the front of the left thigh rather than the lower back. Breathe. And then release. Roll back up to centre, change sides. So bend your left knee, hug your left thigh into your chest. Straighten your right leg along the mat. Taking a few breaths here. And then taking your right hand onto your left knee, stretch your left arm out to the side, roll over onto your right hip slightly so you can bring that left thigh cross over to the right. And you can stay here with your right leg straight or you can bend your right knee, take hold of your right foot with your left hand. And again, as much as you can, relax the left shoulder, shuffle around into a position that feels comfortable. Keeping the tailbone tucked, light, light squeeze of the bum to keep the stretch in the quads rather than the lower back. And then release. Roll back onto your back, cross your shins, your ankles, hook your thighs, your knees into your chest, slowly roll up and down until you roll all the way up to sit in and then come forwards onto your hands and knees for cat cow. So stack your shoulders over your wrists, stack your hips over your knees. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, draw the chest forwards, gaze forwards. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round through the spine, relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, draw the chest forwards, gaze forwards. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round, push into the hands, push up into the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then come back to neutral. So just going to do a little ankle stretch. So start to walk your hands back towards your knees. If you don't get that far, just pause wherever you can reach. And again, you can pop a block between the bum and the heels if you need. Otherwise, if you can, keep walking your hands back. Stay on the tops of the feet, so the toenail sides of the feet. Walk your fingertips behind and then start to lift your knees up away from the mat. So it's going to stretch out the ankles. So you might not lift that far. 
Just take it to a point where you feel a gentle stretch. Breathe. And then release, take your hands back forwards. And then extend your right leg back, just gently roll back and forth over the ball of the right foot. So you're waking up the back of the leg. And then pause when the shoulders are back over the wrist. So to add the quad stretch, bend your right knee and then reach back with your left hand. So opposite hand and foot. So bending the right knee, reaching back with your left hand. If you can't quite reach the foot, that is where your belt is gonna come in handy. So you can wrap it around or if you've got a yoga belt, you can make a little loop and wrap it around your foot. So you can then reach the foot, pop it around the foot before you come onto your hands and knees. Gently pull on the foot or the toes and push the foot back into the belt or back into the hand. Breathe. And then release, change inside. So extend your left leg back first, rolling back and forth over the ball of the foot. And then taking a moment to slap your belt around your left foot if you're using. And then bend your left knee, take your right hand to your left foot, push the foot into the hand, pull the hand back into the foot. Again, keeping the tailbone tucked so you're feeling a stretch more in the thigh rather than the lower back. And then release, drop the foot down. Get your shoulders stacked over your wrists, lift your heels up towards your bum. Walk your knees back as far as they'll go, so you're resting on the fleshy part of the thigh just above the kneecap. Half chaturanga, push into your hands, squeeze your elbows in, lower, hover just above the mat, and then drop down onto your belly. Take your hands wide, roughly in line with the shoulders, come up onto your fingertips, roll your shoulders back, press into the fingers, press into the tops of the feet, lift the kneecaps, press the pubic bone down, inhale, lift the chest. If you've got the space, scoop your elbows, under and forwards, we'll do this a couple more times. Exhale, roll back down. Shoulders back, inhale, lift, scoop your elbows, under and forwards. Exhale, rolling back down, making sure at no point there's any pinching in the lower back. Shoulders back, inhale, lift, scoop your elbows, under and forwards, keep the legs active and strong, protect the lower back. Exhale, roll back down, press into your hands, slide back into your child's pose. Sink your bum back to your heels. Let your chest melt to your thighs. Let your forehead rest down onto the mat. Long, deep breaths. And then inhale, coming back up onto your hands and knees. So again, another quad stretch. This time we're gonna use the same hand and foot. So you might need to angle the shin. So just so I can show you first, we'll start with the left leg. So bend your left knee, reach back with your left hand to take hold of your left foot. So this right shin, you can angle it back if you prefer, whatever helps you feel stable. Keep your right hand roughly underneath your right shoulder and then let your chest turn to the side, tuck the tailbone, push the foot into the hand, pull the hand back into the foot, breathe. And then release, change in sides. So bend your right knee, lean over to the left slightly to bring the weight into your left hand, your left shin. Grab hold your right foot with your right hand, push the foot into the hand, pull the hand back into the foot. Slight squeeze of the bum to keep the tailbone tucked. Breathe. Exhale, release. And from there, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. So set your hands and feet in a nice comfortable position. So maybe a little bit wider for this first one. Bend your legs one at a time, gently pressing each heel back and down. And then step your feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up, bend your right knee. Imagine you've got a wall growing out of the left side of the mat. Push the ball of the right foot into that imaginary left wall. Gently press into your hands, pressing down through the left heel. Breathe. 
and then step your right foot to your right thumb, drop your left knee down. So start off with your right ankle stacked underneath your right knee, slide your left knee as far back as feels comfortable and then start to lean forwards into that right shin. Imagine you're trying to move that right shin, that right knee forwards. It probably won't actually move very far, it's just a micro movement, but that extra leaning forward is gonna stretch at the front of your left hip, your quads. Breathe. And then from there, start to walk your hands back Maybe again, just sitting towards the heel, that might be plenty for you. Otherwise, if you can walk back, sit onto the heel or even inside of the, the heel, take your fingertips back, slide your right foot roughly in line with your left knee, press down into the left shin, lift your hips, scoot your tailbone up towards your right knee. So again, you're bringing the stretch into the front of your left thigh rather than your lower back. And then release, walk your hands forwards, just step straight back into downward facing dog. And again, pedal the legs, do whatever feels good to release tension. Look at the space between your hands, step your left foot to your left thumb, drop your right knee down. So keeping your left knee stacked over your left ankle, slide your right knee back as far as feels comfortable. And then gently press that left shin, that left knee forwards keeping the tailbone tucked till you feel that stretch up the front of the right thigh, the right hip. Breathe. So the key to intense stretches is to try and relax as much as you can. So notice any tension in the jaw, in the shoulders. See if you can relax your face. And then release it again, sliding your left heel back to either sit onto your right heel or inside the heel, taking your fingertips back behind, press down into your right shin, lift your hips up, lengthen your tailbone towards your left knee, breathe. And then exhale, release. Walk the hands forwards, again step straight back into downward facing dog. And just start to gently straighten the legs as much as feels comfortable. Lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Exhale, gently press your heels back and down. Look at the space between your hands. Step your right foot to your right thumb. Drop your left knee down. So just shuffle your right foot across so you've got space for both hands on the inside of the right foot. And again, slide your left knee back as far as feels comfortable. And then tuck your left toes and lift your left knee. So if it's not comfortable to reach the hands all the way down onto the mat, then grab a block, pop a block underneath the hand. So inhale here, exhale, bend that left knee, just hover it just above the mat. Inhale, re-straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. One more, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. And then drop your left knee down. So you can stay here on the hands or maybe even drop onto the forearms. If you wanna add an extra quad stretch, then just turn your right toes out, let your right knee gently drop out to the side, reach back with your right hand, bend your left knee. And again, you can use a belt if you need, gently squeeze your left heel in towards your bum as you roll the right shoulder back. So this can be really intense. Don't force the foot up towards the bum if your hamstrings are starting to going to cramp, just let them go. And then release. So again, you've got the option of how we did previously, sliding that right foot in, lifting the bum up. Or if you feel like you can go a little bit further, sit to the inside of the foot. So again, you might not be able to sit all the way down onto the mat, in which case grab a block or several blocks. You can go as high as you need and stretch your right leg out and start to walk the hands back and lean back. So there might be a certain point where if you're on a block and you're leaning back, you might start to feel it pinching your lower back. So as much as you can, squeeze that left bum cheek to keep the stretch in the left quad. If that doesn't help, maybe see if you can go a little bit lower off your block. So always looking to keep the stretch in the quad rather than the lower back. You may even be able to go onto your forearms, 
or drop down onto your back. Again, find the position that feels most comfortable for you. Take a few long deep breaths here. And then if you are lifted, drop your bum down. If you've laid back, start to slowly walk your hands up and then step back into downward facing dog. Gently pressing down through the roots of the knuckles, the base of the fingers, spilling the shoulders out, pressing into your hands and move your chest back to your legs. Look at the space between your hands, step your left foot to your left thumb and drop your right knee down. So again, shuffle that left foot across so you've got enough space for both hands, the inside of the foot. Slide your right knee as far back as feels comfortable. Pop blocks underneath the hands if you need. Inhale, lift your right knee. Exhale, bend, hover. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, hover. Inhale, straighten, and then drop your knee all the way down onto the mat. So again, you can stay here on your hands or maybe even drop onto your forearms. If you want to add the quad stretch, turn your left toes out, roll to the little toe edge of your left foot, and then stretch your left arm back, bend your right knee. So you can reach your right foot, and gently squeeze the heel in towards the bum. Notice this left shoulder, try not to let it roll forward. So you can roll it back so you're opening the chest as well. Breathe. And then release. So again, your choice as to which option you do, maybe with the right knee bent and the left knee bent, pressing into the fingers, lifting the hips, staying here. Or if you can sit down to the inside of your right foot, maybe on a block if you need, then maybe you can lean back. Make sure the knee isn't wider than the hip. The knees don't necessarily have to touch, but you don't want the knee too wide, so you don't want to twist the knee joint. And then start to walk your hands back or rest onto your forearms or lie down onto your back. Again, whatever feels good for you. Play around squeezing that right bum cheek. Notice whether that changes the stretch, whether it gives you a better stretch or maybe not as comfortable. Again, experiment, find what works for you. And then release, slowly lift yourself up, step back into downward facing dog. So this next one, you might need your belt. So step your right foot to your right thumb, drop your left knee down. So you can either do it with a belt, if you're gonna stay on your mat, just make sure that you're not feeling any strain, strain through the kneecap. So you might need to pop a cushion or a blanket underneath that left knee. Try and slide the left knee as far back as you can so when you bend the left knee, you're not resting any weight on the kneecap. The pressure will go more into the uh, thigh just above the kneecap. So if you're using your belt, wrap your belt around the left foot and we're going to take both hands back either onto the belt or onto the foot and roll the shoulders back. If you're not using a belt or if your quads are particularly tight, a nice alternative is to do this against the wall. So just shuffle yourself against the wall. Again, you might need something underneath your left knee. And just go as close to the wall as feels comfortable. You want the top of the foot, the toenail sides of the foot onto the wall. If you're really tight, this may be enough. And again, you can pop blocks underneath your hands. So staying leaning forwards might be enough. Or if you're going a little bit deeper, start to lift up, taking your hands onto your leg if you can. Notice if you're sticking your bum back to the wall and leaning your chest forwards. Instead, tuck the tailbone, roll the shoulders back. So you should start to feel the stretch of the front of that left thigh. If you're upright and it feels okay, you wanna go a little bit deeper, then take your hands onto your elbows. So again, tuck the tailbone, tuck the front ribs, and lean back towards the wall and breathe. If you're still holding your foot, keep rolling the shoulders back, feeling a sense of expansion across the chest. And 
and then release. So before we change sides, either taking both knees down, if you can walk your hands back, walk your fingertips back behind your bum, lift your bum up away from your heels, or if that feels too much, bringing your hands onto your back, roll the shoulders back, tuck the tailbone, gently push the hips forwards. As you inhale, lift and open the front of the body, keep tucking the tailbone. And then if you're in this position, squeeze the thighs together to lift up. Otherwise, if you had your fingertips down, just drop your bum down. Take your hands forwards, step back into downward facing dog. Look at the space between your hands. Step your left foot to your left thumb. Drop your right knee down. So exactly the same options. If you're staying on your mat, just make sure your right knee is far enough back that you're not going to put any pressure on the kneecap when you bend the knee and take hold of the foot. If you can, do it with both hands so you're not twisting the pelvis and twisting the shoulders. And again, you can use your belt to gently squeeze the heel in. Or if you're going to do it against the wall, find your wall space. Take your foot up the wall, top of the foot, touching the wall and maybe leaning forward, staying here if you're already feeling a good strong stretch. Otherwise lifting up, maybe taking the hands onto the legs or maybe taking the arms up, taking hold of the elbows. Again, notice if you're flaring your ribs or your bum in whatever position you want to keep the tailbone tucked, drop the front ribs down. If you can, lean back towards that right heel. And again, play around with maybe squeezing the bum slightly, see how that affects the stretch. And then release, taking your hands down, shuffling your foot away. And then we're going to step the feet forwards towards the front of the mat. Come up onto your fingertips. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, arms up overhead, gaze up to your hands. Exhale, arms down by the sides. So bring the weight into your left foot. And then bend your right knee, take hold of your right foot with your right hand. And then drop your right thigh down towards the left thigh. Notice if you're kind of arching your back, sticking your ribs out, tuck the tailbone, tuck the front ribs in. And then you might find that your right knee is slightly forward. Keep the tailbone tucked as you then squeeze your right thigh back as you keep pulling the heel in towards your bum. So this may be plenty, so you can just stay here. If you want to go a stage further, lift your left arm up. Start to take your right thigh straight back rather than out to the sides. If you can keep your thighs quite close as you lift the right thigh up, let your chest tilt forwards as much as you need to counterbalance the weight of the leg and make sure there's no pinching. Push your foot into your hand, pull your hand back into your foot, breathe. And then release and step your right leg back into a lunge, bringing your hands onto your hips. So from here, bend your right knee slightly Tuck the tailbone, keep your tailbone tucked, and then re-straighten your right leg, only to the point where it feels like a comfortable stretch. And again, bend your right knee, tuck the tailbone, keep the tailbone tucked, re-straighten that right leg. One more, bend the knee, tuck the tailbone, keep the tailbone tucked, straighten that right leg, lift your arms up, inhale, keep breathing. Slightly squeeze in the right bum cheek and then bring your hands down, step your right foot forwards to meet your left. Same thing on the other side, so bring the weight into your right foot as you take your left hand to your left foot. So notice this position, you want to try and bring the pelvis into neutral, so lengthen the tailbone down, almost feel like you're scooping your pubic bone up, drop your front ribs down. So notice if that's pushed that left thigh forward, that's fine. Keep your left, your tailbone tucked as you gently press your left thigh back, squeezing the heel into the bum. And again, this might be plenty to just stay here. Or if you want to go a stage further, lift your right arm up, tilt your chest forwards, push your foot into your hand as you pull your hand back into the foot. Again, just tilt as far forwards as you need to counteract the weight of the leg without any pinch in the lower back. And then release. Set your hands onto your hips, step your left foot back into a lunge. From here, bend the left knee, tuck the tailbone, keep the tailbone tucked, re-straighten the left leg. 
Again, bend the left knee, tuck the tailbone, breathe, straighten. One more, bend the knee, tuck the tailbone, keep the tailbone tucked as you re-straighten that left leg. Lift the arms up, gaze up to your hands, breathe. Exhale, take your hands all the way down, stepping back into plank, lowering down onto your belly, so half or full chaturanga. So as you bend the elbows, keep the elbows squeezed in, push back through the heels, lower onto the belly. So from here, prop yourself up onto your left forearm and bend your right knee and take hold of your right foot. Again, use a belt if you can't quite reach the foot. Squeeze your heel in towards your bum and press your pubic bone down into the mat. Keep breathing. And then release, change sides. rock onto your right forearm, bend your left knee, squeeze your left heel in towards your bum. Again, use a belt if you need. Keep pressing the pubic bone down, that'll help to stabilise the pelvis. And again, make sure you're not feeling any pinch in the lower back. Ease off if you are. And then release. So now roll over onto your right side. This can be sometimes a little bit difficult to balance. So see if you can prop yourself up into a position, position where you feel stable. And again, bend your left knee, squeeze your left heel in towards the bum. Roll that left shoulder back. So you can stay here as you are, or if you wanna add an IT band stretch, bend your right knee, take your right ankle to the top of the left thigh, and gently just drop your left knee down. You may even be able to kind of take the knee back behind. Just do whatever feels good for you. And then release, changing sides, rolling over onto your left side. Bend your right knee, take hold of your right foot, squeeze your right heel in towards your bum. And again, you can stay here or to add the IT band stretch, bend your left knee, take your left ankle to your right knee, and gently drop your right knee, your right shin down. And then release, roll back onto your belly. Stretch your left arm out, keep your left leg straight, bend your right knee, take your right hand onto your right foot, press the pubic bone down. If you can reach, take hold of your right ankle, otherwise the top of the right foot's fine. And then float your left arm, your left leg. If you can, flex your right foot. Feels like you're lifting your right thigh, your right heel up towards the ceiling. Breathe. And then release. Just take a few moments. Taking long, deep breaths. And then change inside, stretch your right arm out, right leg stay straight, bend your left knee. If you can reach, take hold of your left ankle, otherwise the top of the foot is fine. Press your pubic bone down, flex your left foot, float your right arm, your right leg, and see if you can lift that left thigh up away from the mat. Push the foot into the hand, pull the hand back into the foot, breathe. Exhale, release. Taking a few moments here. And then press into your hands, push yourself back into child's pose. Easing yourself back slowly, resting your bum back to your heels. Let your chest melt your thighs, let your forehead rest down. And then slowly walk your hands in. And then sit in onto your bum. Bend the knees, wrap your forearms behind the backs of the thighs. Drop your chin down towards your knees. And let your back slightly round. Taking long, deep breaths into the back of the body. And 
and slowly lifting up. So I'm going to turn to face you and I'm going to mirror you as well. So you might need blocks for this one. So grab as many blocks as you need. So pop up onto your block first and then roll over to your left and bend your right knee, taking the top of the right foot down next to that left, down next to the right hip, I should say. So again, go as high as you need. It doesn't matter if you're on several books or several blocks. It's better that you're higher and it feels comfortable for the ankle and for the foot. If this just isn't comfortable, then re-straighten that right leg and then bend your left knee, bringing the sole of the left foot into your right inner thigh. So we're going to twist to face towards this left leg and often what happens is this right hip and the right sit bone lift. So as much as you can, keep pressing that right hip back, keep the right sit bone down onto the mat or onto the block. And then take your right hand over onto your left knee, take your left fingers behind, inhale, lift. Exhale, maybe it's starting to gently twist, making sure that right hip doesn't come forwards and keeping that right sit bone heavy. And you can stay here, or you can take your left fingertips back, press into the shins, lift your bum up, reach that right arm up and over. And then release, sit back down, change inside to roll over to the left to release your right leg. And then roll over to the right to bend your left knee, unless that's not comfortable, in which case keep your left leg straight and then bend your right knee, bringing the sole of your right foot towards your left inner thigh. This time keeping this left hip back and the left sit bone down, set your left hand over onto your right knee, press into your fingers, inhale, exhale, twist, and keeping that left sit bone heavy. Each inhale, focus on creating a little bit of length up through the spine, up through the crown of the head. So you can stay in this twist or take your right fingertips just a little bit further back, lift the bum up, stretch that left arm up and over. And then release, pop your bum down, just pop off your block, lie down onto your back. So again, grab your blocks pile of books, whatever you've got, press into your feet, lift your hips and just slide your blocks again underneath the pelvis, the sacrum. And then staying here in this bent knee position, there in your back, just gently rest onto the blocks. So you can stay here or if you've not had enough quad stretching, you want to add one more, then see if you can come up onto your kind of left foot and your Use your hips, you might kind of need to wiggle around so you can bend your right knee and take the top of the right foot up towards the hip. So you kind of might need to shuffle in a few times and then let your right shin, your right knee gently drop down towards the mat. So the higher you are, the easier it's going to be to get the foot under. But please don't endure any spasm or pain in your hamstrings to get into this position. Just allow yourself to ease in and if it's not happening today then just release don't force and then if you had the top of the right foot down next to the right hip change sides so again you can, might need to kind of shuffle around so you can bend that left knee taking the top of the left foot the toenail side of the foot next to the left hip kind of sliding it up towards the face. Gently press that left shin, that left knee down towards the mat. Breathe. And then if you had the foot slid back, just slowly release, press into your feet, lift your hips up, slide your blocks out to the side. 
stretch your arms out, shuffle your hips to the left, hook your left leg over your right, gently lower your knees over to the right, close your eyes, take long deep breaths, taking a moment to find and release any tightness, any tension. Inhale, lift your knees up to centre, unhook let the leg, go the other way, shuffle your hips to the right, hook your right leg over your left, lower your knees, over to the left. Long deep breaths. Inhale, lift the knees back up to centre. So if you've got time to rest, see if you can take at least five or ten minutes in your relaxation, your shavasana, or if you need to move on, then cross your shins, your knees, hook your thighs into your chest, slowly roll up and down the spine, all the way up to sitting. Bringing your hands together. In a moment to notice how you're feeling. Seeing all the efforts, the energy, take away with you a feeling of calm, relaxation, peace. Go forward, take your hands to the earth to give thanks and then lift them back. Namaste.